Welcome everybody to our Morning with May member ranking. This week we are going to be talking about our number 23rd member. We actually had members that swapped. Like, my member this week was his member next week, and his member this week was my member next week. So he just decided to swap onto mine, since he likes the one that I was going to talk about tomorrow, or next week, not tomorrow, better than he does this one. Yes. So our number 23 combined is Fukumura me words just happened out of my mouth. Fukaka. Nothing really like meshed. Oh, it's the Fukaka girl. Oh, the Fukaka girl's in the first generation. Oh. Yeah. You already talked about the Fukaka girl. See, this is why she would Asuka. Fukuka Masuka. <laughs> Fukukuracha. Fukukuracha! Yeah. Still don't remember. That's why she's number 23. <laughs> no, Fukumura is a different person than Fukukuracha. Wait. Wait. Fukuda Asuka is in the first generation. Fukumura Mizuki is in the ninth generation. Well, that's just stupid. Their names are very similar. I don't remember this girl. Why is she so high on your list then? If you cannot remember her, at least you remembered Ongaku. At least you kind of remembered Miki. At least you kind of remembered a lot of other people and you thought Eripon was cute. I'm really, I'm genuinely you... very confused as to why she's so. I, it must have been when I made this list initially. I knew who this bitch was, and I have since forgotten her. P.S. I also don't like how you call the members who are sweet and cute girls <laughs> bitches. I don't like that. Like if you want to say that about like Sunku or Mariko or any of the people who style the girls, so like 16-year-old girls. And you just casually call them bitches. I casually call a lot of people bitches. But does that make it okay? <laughs> let me say stuff since you don't have anything to say. Well, let me just say this. Do you have to? Yes. I'm fairly certain I put her this high up because she does deliver strong vocals. She does. And she is a presence in the group. It's just that for some reason, I don't... She doesn't have enough of a personality to be remembered for that. But I must have appreciated what she contributes to the group. So she made this spot for the sheer fact that she is a talented girl. And she's pretty. And she's pretty. And I feel that she was a positive contribution to the group. While not one of my favorites, she was a solid middle. Mizuki is pretty average in her singing, she's average in her personality, and I kind of see her as this generation's Mari, that she's really cute, she sings well, but she's sort of just there. She has a really pleasant aura and she has this amazing ability to make other people around her seem a lot stronger than they are. It's not that she sings so bad that they seem so good, it's just that she literally just brings the best out of people and I think that that is really awesome for her as a person and that's why I see her as a Mari, someone who really just strengthens people who are around her. And on an unrelated note, I think that Mizuki is stunningly beautiful and she goes out of her way to make herself look plain and boring and my hope is that when she takes over as leader of the group that she'll not only lead with the confidence that I know that she has and with the learning that she's gotten and with the experience that she's gotten from her Hello Project Egg role and I hope that she takes all of that and really embraces that beauty that she has much like Sayumi did when she took over leadership and just radiates on the stage because she's gorgeous and she tries so hard to be vanilla and I hope that she stops doing that once she takes over as leadership and once she's that face of the group that she really can be that face and serve up face. I really wish I had more things to say about Mizuki. Um, again, she's here because she's a solid middle. Unfortunately, a lot of the girls who ended up in the middle of this list for me are there because mostly I just don't remember them. Everyone who was in the bottom I either felt was really, really bad or I just hated. Everyone in the top was either really, really good or I have a personal affinity for. These middle ones are just the girls who got lost in the Valley of the Dolls. This is where it all fell into place. Keep in mind, we also made this list weeks and weeks and weeks ago. I was probably in a completely different headspace about these girls. Clearly. We, and also, we had probably just redone our last like A-side, B-side. So these girls were fresh in my mind at the time. Mm -hmm. Doesn't fly for me. That's fine. That's fine. 
calling shenanigans on that one. You may call shenanigans. Shenanigans. Hocus pocus. Shenanigans. Well, I think that is all we have to say about Mizuki. Stick around. Next week we'll be reviewing the same member, but though we won't tell you who it is until then. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Please let us know who your number 23rd ranked member is, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.